guys! So today I am going to show you how to blend clip-in hair extensions into thin or fine hair. It can be a little bit tricky to make sure your clip-in hair extensions don't show if your own hair isn't very full, but there are some tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you today besides the obvious, you know, make sure the extensions match your color and things like that. Uh, we've heard that before, but I have a few extra tips for you today, so be sure to keep on watching. The first tip I would like to give you is if you have fine or thin hair, try to resist the urge to wear all of the wefts at the same time. I understand it is so cool to see yourself with so much hair and by all means wear it, play around with it, wear it around the house, but if you want your extensions to look natural, I would say if you're going out, try to wear a maximum of maybe three or four hair extensions. I personally never really go out with more than two or three. Um, I feel like that's plenty for me. Plus I'm sure you can imagine, I mean this is all of my hair right here. Let me just put this in a ponytail. If I add all of this <laughs> to my own hair, it is going to be really hard to make this look natural. The wefts are going to be harder to blend into your hair in a natural way as well. So I always kind of try to limit myself to one, two or three wefts of hair extensions. So the second tip is not to apply the wefts of hair extensions too high up on your head. Especially when your hair is finer, you're going to need a little bit more volume up here to hide the wefts of hair extensions. So you want to make sure to place your extensions lower on your head to make sure there is enough ha hair on top to fall over the wefts and cover them up. So I usually set the limit at about my eyebrow height. If your hair is um, even thinner than mine, or maybe your hair is blonde, that needs to be a little bit harder to hide as well, then maybe go about um, your eye length or even the ears. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that my last extension ends right around my eyebrows. And the first one I'm actually going to start pretty low on my head. So right behind my ears, and like the lower part of my ears. I'm just going to make a parting. And I'm gonna clip the rest of my hair up for now while I take a strip of hair extensions. Now obviously there isn't that much space here so I'm gonna take a strip of hair extensions that isn't too wide. Let's see I have a two clip one here that should fit perfectly. I personally don't have a problem with this, but I know that some people, especially fine-haired ladies, tend to have a problem with extensions slipping out throughout the day. So if you do experience this problem, then there are a few things you can do. First thing is to take a little teasing brush and you can just grab the hair that is right where you want to place your wefts and back comb the part right at the roots, just a tiny bit. And that is going to create a little bit more texture for your extensions to grab onto. So another thing you can do either to make this even stronger or if you don't like to back comb your hair is to take a little bit of dry shampoo and just spray a little bit of that onto the place where you want to put your hair extensions. And that just creates a little bit of texture and grip as well. And then you can just take your clips and clip these just below that parting that we just made. like that and there's the first strip done so then I'm going to let down my hair move up just a little bit so I think I'm going to do about three wefts today so I'm going to move up to just above my ear clip this up and if you like you can do the same thing again just taking a small strip of hair here back combing it with a back combing brush Spray it with a little bit of dry shampoo. And then I'm going to take a larger wet. I have a three clip one here. I always like to start in the center, by the way. Clip my center clip in the center and then go from there so that I'm sure that it is centered. <laughs> What a sentence, okay. Oh, and another thing you want to do when trying to figure out what length extension to use is make sure the extensions don't come forward too much. Um, hair tends to be a lot thinner around this area right here and not as much hair is going to fall over the actual extension. So do make sure to leave at least like two or three inches in the front here where there is no weft. Otherwise the chances of it showing increase. So there's my second weft. And then the third one I'm gonna place right around 
the level of my eyes. Back on this ever so slightly. Now again, this is an optional step, but if you do struggle with having your extensions slip out, and this might help. And a bit of dry shampoo. And I'm going to take my largest weft, which is a five clip one. And I'm gonna start in the center again and spread it out towards the front. And I always just kind of feel where my parting is with my hands and then follow that. So those are my three wefts and with just three I have like, yeah, pretty much the amount of hair my natural hair is left of hair extensions and my hair already looks so much. If your hair is even finer than mine, you might actually still have a little bit of weft showing here if you still don't have enough hair to cover everything or again if your hair is lighter that tends to make things a little bit more difficult. Now something you can do is to grab a section of hair that is just above your last weft. So for me that's right around here. Grab this section. As you can see here's my, left, here's my last weft. And you can actually take your teasing brush again and just slightly back on the hair that is right above your last, your last weft. And by just creating a little bit more volume just above that weft, it's going to be much easier to hide and this hair won't move around so much so it won't split as easily to kind of reveal where the weft is and it just makes it a little bit easier to hide everything. So now you shouldn't be able to see any extensions in kind of this area of your head. So the next step is to blend it in here. So the first thing you want to do for that is to take a brush or a comb and to brush all of your hair together. So to blend it in with the hair extensions by brushing it. So what you always want to do when doing this is to hold the hair right underneath your ear, hold it firmly and then start brushing. You never want to brush your hair extensions while they are kind of freely hanging from your head. You always want to hold them so that you don't um, tear them out of your head or they don't slide out or you know you don't accidentally rip out any of your own hair. So then when all of this is nice and smooth then you can gently go up and just kind of brush over this hair right here and then when you come down again just hold it again and by brushing all of this hair together it's going to blend nicely and you won't be able to tell which hair is extension and which is your own hair as well. Now the last tip that I have for blending hair extensions into fine hair is to make sure that all of the hair is the same texture. So heat styling it and in this case Curling works a little bit better than straightening. You can you can definitely straighten, but if your hair, you like the individual strands of your hair are, li are a little bit of a different texture than the strands of the extension hair, it's still going to show. Curling just conceals everything a little bit better. So I'm just going to go ahead, curl my hair with a kind of medium to larger size curling iron uh, barrel, and then I will be back to show you the results. All right, so here is the look with some waves in my hair. And as you can see, you can't tell I'm wearing hair extensions at all. So let me just show you from all sides what this looks like. So those are my tips on how to blend clip-in hair extensions into fine or thin hair. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you found it helpful. If you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more hair tutorials. If you would like to support me on Patreon I will have a link in the description box below. Thank you so much. I will have another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!